here's an interesting marine art trivia question for you. What do these people have in common? Naval architects Olin and Rod Stevens, auto racer Briggs Cunningham, and artist John McCrae. And what do these places have in common? City Island, New York, St. Simons, Georgia, Mystic Seaport, and Southport, Connecticut. Well, we got to cut back to 1930 when Walter Barnum asked young designers, Olin and Rod Stevens, to design him a yacht capable of sailing around the world. She was built, <clears throat> brilliant, in the Nevins Yard in City Island and launched in 1932. During the war, she served as part of the Pickett Navy out of St. Simons Island, Georgia, and she was purchased after the war by well-known sportsman Briggs Cunningham, and who sailed her out of Southport, Connecticut, and cruised her. In 1953, he gave her to Mystic Seaport as a sail training vessel where some 11,000 people have uh, sailed aboard her, kids and adults. I don't think there's a yacht that's had that many people aboard them uh, as working crew anywhere in the world. In 1992, we, when I was at Mystic Seaport, asked John McRae to make a painting of Brilliant, showing her in 1932 to celebrate the 60th anniversary of her launching. Uh, what you'll see now is his incredible painting and a little bit of the story of how the painting was made. We hope you enjoy it. Here's a good close-up look at the incredible detail of John's finished painting. Note how the bob stay goes from the bowsprit through the transparent water and connects to the hull and the shadow of the crew member on the bow. This is done with John's trademark composition, cutting off the top of the rig so you can get right in on the detail. Look at the bow wave peeling back. Uh, this painting by John is created really with the same meticulous care that the yacht was created uh, with. Uh, one particular moment while John was painting the painting, Olin and Rod Stevens were still alive at this time and we're looking at the painting at various stages. And at one point, these two vents you see there on the left-hand side by the overturned dinghy, John had painted facing backwards, figuring he didn't want water to get in them. And Rod Stevens looked at those and said, John, you know, those were derayed vents, mean designed by the brothers for the yacht derayed, and designed to face forward and vent the water out even while letting air into the cabin. So John actually made the change and turned them around in the painting. As we move further aft, you see Olin and Rod, the young Olin and Rod, in the companion way, enjoying themselves, obviously, but also paying attention to every aspect of how the yacht was handling. And there's Walter Barnum at the helm. It took John almost a year to complete this painting, a magnificent work of art. People often ask me, what happens to a one-of-a-kind work of art like this painting? Well, in this case, it was purchased by a collector who lived across the river from Mystic Seaport. So in his living room, he had the painting hanging over his fireplace, and he could look out his window and see the actual yacht. Brilliant. Uh, but the problem there, of course, is anybody, uh, <clears throat> the only people who saw the painting were people who visited his house. He's now passed away. The painting has come into the marketplace, so still not many people have seen it, but there's a chance for a collector, a group of collectors, to acquire this now. And this is how artwork often travels through history. Here we are uh, 30 years later. We hope you've enjoyed our story.